Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We added our new uh, uh, filters and we have special effects. About 2,000, we are including the presets of the effects and the uh, types of parameters where you can tweak and uh, put your own uh, addition into it. So this is pretty much, I mean, it's standalone, but it can also work as a, a Photoshop or Aperture plugin. Well, basically, standalone is its own product, and then we have plugins for Aperture and uh, Photoshop. Okay. Different products, and then we also have applications for uh, Final Cut Pro, After Effects, and Avid. It looks very simple to browse through the effects. How many effects do you have in the in the program? Well, we have 133 Tiffin filters, and then the uh, effects are added on into that. But we try to emulate what we have in our Tiffin line, so many people are familiar with that. We have our categories here. We have the Film Lab, the Gels, the HFX Diffusion, the HFX Grads and Tints, the Image, Lens, Light, Photographic, and Special Effects. We're trying to make them into categories that make sense. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm just going to quickly go through them here. Well, it's such a wide array, and just being a very visual person, it's nice to have those thumbnail previews. Correct. Very nice. Correct. So basically what you do is when you figure out what effect that you want or you filter, you just pick it and it comes over here onto the right side of your uh, interface. And these are what I'm calling the presets. This is like uh, different variations of the same filter. And essentially you pick one and you add it on. Now can you add your own presets? Basically you can save your presets. When you're in the parameters section, in here you can have toggles where uh, you can tweak and uh, enhance and, and do whatever you want to do and then save as a preset to be brought in later. So if you have a project that you're working on and you need to go back later, it's perfect for that. Very good for graphic artists as well. Um, one of the things that's really cool about this software is that we have what we call masking, which means you can do selective filtration and effects. Yeah, but masking is usually so complex, you have to be spot on, and you got to be precise, and it just never looks good wonderful tool we have right here. Right, show me what you got. We have seven different masks, but the one I like to show is Easy Mask. Yeah, definitely. Easy Mask. Okay. Someone who's not a Photoshop person who doing this kind of stuff is just a, a pain in the neck. This is going to blow you away. So I choose Easy Mask, and one of the things that uh, happens here is these tools get highlighted. So the first thing I do is I go in, and I picked out my first tool, which is that pencil tool up there, which is basically, I'm drawing in green and this is going to keep what I want okay. inside the mask. Even as a rough outline? Just like that, right. Okay. Then I'm going to pick my next tool, which is painting the background, which is going to be in red. So you're basically creating Real short strokes mask. here. Wow. Okay, this is a... Uh... See yeah. how well this does. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, well, it looked like pretty simple. Now I'm going to hit this button over here on the right here called Generate Mask. And it's processing. It takes a little time to process. Oh sure. I mean, any kind of photo tool will. So this is our this is our teacher console right here. Yeah, the uh, I I've tried this before so many times, and inevitably have to do it like 13 times just to get it right. One of the nice things too about this program that I forgot to mention is that you can bring in your raw files. And oh, it'll keep up with the raw files. And here's your mask just built up over here. So you just take a image. Well, that mask is, it looks pretty precise, how, like, it, it picked up the dog hair in that mask. Yeah, and now watch, I can invert. Holy cow. Isn't that amazing? No, that's, that's precise. Would you be able to pull up the, the, the mask, just the black and white mask in the, the larger preview? Yeah. There we go. I, I just have to, the detail, just from a rough outline. Right, isn't that cool? That is unparalleled. So what's great about this, and you can invert it too, wow. you can keep adding effects on and on. You can also click in these windows here and drag them up. If you need to save this mask, you quickly pop it in right there. Dude, I cannot <laughs> get over just from drawing those broad brush strokes. Oh my, that's... That's gold there. I mean, if you do any kind of photo editing. Right. Wow. And this is this is the standalone version. This is a standalone, but it works exactly the same way in the Photoshop and the Aperture. Okay, so is it uh, Mac only? No, cross-platform. Beautiful. So Windows or Mac OS X? Windows or Mac. And they can find more information at tiffin.com? Absolutely. Navigate to DFX. Perfect. Great.